This one's uh, Madame X, tied on a Mustad R43. It's important that you have a at least a 2XL extra long shank here, but this is a 3XL. Okay, this is a great uh, attractor pattern that uh, I've used for many many years, both in uh, running water and still water. So just run your tying thread. I'll shank that. Get rid of that. We need some. Uh, I like to do it in bleached deer hair. This is Nature Spirits Humpy Deer, bleached, excellent hair. So I'll just take that a little bit further back. There we go. Um, clean the hair. Just a small bunch for the tail. Stack it. There you go. And let's measure the tail. A bit too long that. There we go. Measure that about there. Then what we want to do here is cut that off about there. Move our thread back up here. Flatten it out. Twice round, tighten it in. Tie that down, that will hold everything in place and stop the hair from spinning as you tie it in. Now not super tight, just work your way back in nice and open turns and don't let go of the tail until you get back there where you want it to be. There we go, that's it, excellent. Now we can go forward again and just tie this down properly. There we go. Very good. Just remove these butt pieces here. Open the thread. Tie it down. Just give it all. That'll do it. So we go back up here again. New piece of silk. Uh, the colour choice is yours. Saying the most popular colours for Madame X are red, golden, yellow, olive. And this one's going to be a red one. Let me just tie this in up here. So when you pass in your silk. Get it flat just by running your fingers through it and again hand over hand so you don't twist it. That's how you get the nicest bodies. I and mean, this doesn't have to be brilliant silk work, it's a dry fly. So we just need to give it a red body and that it tapers a little bit thinner at the tail. We've got a little bit over the tail there just to pull it down into position. Good. And then back up. All the way until we get up to the business part. Flatten that out. Here and we can tie that off. There we go. Remove that. Now another bunch of deer hair for the wing. Clean it, stack it, and we need to measure this. 
should be about the same length, a little bit longer than that. So that's where we know we're going to tie it in. Now what you have to do is move your tying thread right behind the hook eye. There we go. So once, twice loosely round and pull down. Now you can go a couple of times through the hair just to lock it down tight into the hook eye, then back again because you want the hair, this to flare 360 degrees around the hook shank here. Then we go back, open spiral, just to the size of the head you want. There we go. And we can take the scissors and remove that. Just tidy it up a little bit. So, get this going forward and then we'll just tie that down there. Now you have to position your tying thread where you want the head to be, where you're going to tie the legs in. So just at the end of where you've cut everything off. Then a clear plastic tube. I like to use the clear ones because you can actually see what's going on underneath it. So we know now that all these are lying in straight lines. That's what I want for sure. Now if you take your scissors you can just position these. I want them to be open a little bit at the bottom here. There we go. And lift the wing up. There we are. Now before I start doing uh, tying the head down, I want to colour my Dyneema red because I want this neck part to be red. There you go. So now we've got that in position. Round a couple of times before you tighten. There you go and then go forwards towards the head not backwards towards the wing this will give the head tighter and not flare the wing so now we can remove that we've got the right flare on the wing here we've got the whole head covered and the body showing but if you want more of the body showing you can just cut off these I can show you here if you want more of the body showing we can just remove those couple of fibres on each side like so there we are. there's a long hair there, don't like that there we go. now we need some rubber legs so just lift that around the tying thread and bring it around the front should be shorter at the front than at the back just tack that in there. We need one more. That one can be tacked in there. Very good. Just give my thread another coat with a waterproof marker fall out a little so just pull them up there we go it's better tie that in whip finish in between the legs and remove the tying thread you can, uh, to make this a little bit more durable, this pattern, you can uh, 
put a little bit of head cement on the whippings and the head. But that's it. Greater tractor, Madame X.